let's take a look at our first group of anthropoids, the platyrrhines. Let's go back to our tree here. So you can see our anthropoids are monkeys, apes, and humans. And within them, we have our two groups, platyrrhines and catarrhines. So let's talk about these platyrrhines, also known as New World monkeys. So our platyrrhines here, these are our New World monkeys. They live in South and Central America. Their name literally means flat nose. So if you look at their nose there, it is kind of flat and their nostrils are point outwards. In contrast to myself, because I am a catarrhine, my nose points out and my nostrils face down. Um, most of these primates are arboreal. They live in the trees and they are highly social. They are also adorable. So here are the different groups we have in platyrrhines. We have calatricids, pathesids, atelids, aotids, and cebids. Let's go through these one by one. Let's start with our calatricidae. These are our marmosets and tamarins. These guys are really small and oh so cute. Um, what's interesting is we find different mating systems in these guys. We see monogamy and polyandry. Let's break that word up. Poly means many, andry means men or male. So in these guys, we see one female but two males in their mating system. Um, and this is related to the fact that they generally give birth to twins. So a female will have two babies and each father will carry one of the babies so mom can go and feed herself so she will have enough energy to lactate. This is a really unique solution to um, a twinning situation. Um, these guys primarily eat fruits and insects. And also remember, these are tamarinds in contrast to tamarinds with a D. That's a type of fruit. Delicious, very different. Um, let's look at some of the different genera we find in our Calatricidae. We have Subwella, Calithrix, Leontopithecus, and Saguinus with their glorious mustaches. Next, let's talk about the Aotids or our owl monkeys. These guys are nocturnal. Um, they're frequently used in malaria research. And as you can see, they have these gorgeous glowing orange eyes. We only have one genus in our Aotids or genus Aotis. There are a couple different species um, and they are primarily found in South America. Next up, we have our seabits or capuchins and squirrel monkeys. These guys are medium sized and they have really large social groups and they are oh so smart. They primarily eat fruit um, and these guys use tools. So here we have a baby capuchin who is using a big old rock to try and smash open this nut. And we can look at pictures here. We have genus Cebus and then genus Cymeri, our squirrel monkeys. Next up, we have our pathesids, TD monkeys, sakis, and wakaris. Here are our TD monkeys. They are so adorable. They have monogamous pairs and they show um, their uh, pair bonding behavior with their mate by twining their tails around each other. These guys are medium sized. They primarily eat fruits and seeds. And let's look at some further pictures of these different genera in this group. We have Calisibus, our TD monkeys, Pathesia, our sakis, Chiripodes, a different genera, genus of saki, and then their Kakajau, our wakari. Some of these guys look a little weird, especially our Kakajau with his bright red face. Um, these guys are known for eating harder nuts and seeds that are not ripe. So they're going after food that um, isn't as easily accessible by other primates, so they have less competition for their food. Next up, we have our Atelids. These are our spider monkeys, howler monkeys, and woolly monkeys. These guys are medium to large, and they have the prehensile tail. These are the only primates that have a prehensile tail. So if you see a primate with wrapping its tail around something, it's an Atelid. Um, these guys primarily eat leaves and fruit. Let's look at a couple of the different genera in this group. We have Atelis, our spider monkeys, Elawada, our howler monkeys, Brachytelis, the Mariki, and Lagothrix, the woolly monkey. Um, spider monkeys are some of my personal favorite. I love how they really use all of their limbs to move around the trees. So what are platyrrhines? And what are the different groups within platyrrhines? Mm -hmm.